So I wanted to give you a quick tour of our new coop. This is actually a garden shed from Horizon Structures. It's their 8x12 garden shed and I had it converted into a coop with some specifications that I worked on with them. And I just wanted to kind of show you uh, around. I did put a ramp going up because we have ducks and they don't really jump up very well. So that's to help them get in to it easier. Um, but anyway, so it's got nice wide double doors. And then when you come inside, now remember we just got it this morning, so you know there's still some things I wanna do. But anyway, we've got some roosts here. I put up a little sign for them. And then over here we've got the hatchery. We did go with the electric um, package so I can run uh, electric if I want to have heated water or lights or whatever. Um, then there are six nesting boxes. And in case anyone thinks I don't practice what I preach, I picked some herbs and wildflowers from the yard and from the garden. To put in the nesting boxes, I've got some mint, echinacea, clover, thyme, uh, cat mint, I believe. So anyway, there's six nesting boxes. I went with shavings in the boxes for now because we had some left over from our trip up here. And I went with the straw on the floor because it's really good for insulation for the winter. There's the little chicken door and window. And I even set up a... Uh, little box for the ducks to lay in with some herbs, not that they're actually going to use it. And then I had the coop separated, let me back up here. There's a divider, it's about two thirds coop and one third storage. And sorry about the crunchy straw. So in the storage part, um, as you can see, I have a fully stocked first aid kit, which Oddly enough, we hardly ever use anything from this because the chickens are really healthy. But some of the things, you know, we used to use on our horses, we can use on ourselves or the dogs. Um, but I've got the full, you know, golden seal, chamomile for eye washes, the Vetresin, Vet RX. We've got some green goo, gauze pads, vet wrap, um, all kinds of tonics, garlic juice, apple cider vinegar molasses. If you wonder what I use all this stuff for, you can look on the blog for natural first aid kit. Um, then we've got our shavings. I've got the Dukashi, which I sprinkled on the floor. Uh, it keeps the ammonia fumes controlled and it helps with composting. We've got our little treat basket with some chubby mealworms and some garden delights from Manapro. And then I've got the their feed, which I keep in um, metal buckets with a plastic pail inside. And I've got the supplements the, that I add to their feed, the dried herbs, burrs yeast, garlic powder, probiotics, DE. Um, so that storage area will be nice. Shut that again. And we've just got some hanging baskets. I've got my orange peel coop cleaner and a feeder. I don't generally leave feed in the coop, but where they're getting used to it, you know, where their home is and all that, I'm going to leave feed and water in for them a, for a little bit. Um, and a neat thing is they actually, Horizon Structures gave us a can of each of the colors paint that they used in the coop, the green, the brown, and the white. So I could repaint our grit and eggshell dispensers and I'll get those up on the wall pretty soon. So that's the coop. Um, plenty big enough for 11 chickens and our 12 ducks. And then if you go around, there's window boxes. If you go around the side, I just kind of made some steps here so they can get up. Here's their little chicken door that they'll use to get into the run that we'll eventually build. Kind of neat because it clasps there. And then you can see into the run from the little pop door. So I think they're going to be pretty happy. They're going to like their coop. It's nice and safe. It's got nice ventilation up high and the windows that uh, open and shut. So that is the garden shed converted into a chicken coop from Horizon Structures. 
And like I said, it just arrived this morning, so I haven't had time to sew curtains or do any landscaping or anything, but in the spring, I'll definitely be landscaping around it and we'll have our coop built.